It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition. This is for Thursday, the 29th of April. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather starting off the day dry. A cold front pushes a band of showers and thunderstorms in here tonight. And SPC has introduced a low end risk of severe storms for about the northern half of the state. So let's talk about things. Here we go. This is the upper air look across the country early this morning. We've got uh, trough hanging back over the southwest United States, over parts of West Texas. And uh, one part of that lifting out, moving toward the Great Lakes. In advance of the trough, you can see a lot of convection west of the state. That was the radar early this morning, a little before 5 o'clock, a band of heavier storms pushing into northwestern Tennessee. But we're quiet to start the day. Temperatures are mostly in the 60s. We're expecting highs in the low 80s in most locations today. There's the watch warning map. We've got a series of uh, severe weather watches and flash flood watches from Texas up to the Ohio Valley, west of Alabama. And this is the change. Uh, the SPC guys have uh, introduced a risk of severe storms uh, for parts of Alabama. This is a broad zone from East Texas up into uh, the area around New York City and Philadelphia. So in Alabama, we've got the standard slight risk as far south as Reform, Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, and Weiss Lake. We've got a marginal risk down to Linden, Clanton, and Heflin. And we'll talk more about the uh, uh, activity this evening here in just a little bit. This is tomorrow. Uh, maybe some thunder for the southern half of the state. No severe weather expected. Day three, which is Saturday, a marginal risk over parts of East Texas and Louisiana. Here's the rain for the next seven days. Numbers are coming up around here. In fact, this is suggesting parts of the state may be receiving over four inches of rain between now and Thursday morning of next week. Most locations between two and three inches as the weather looks kind of unsettled next week. So let's dive into modeling. Model fans, here's the GFS. The 06E run valid today at four. And again, you can see the upper low hanging back over far west Texas. A trough coming out through the Great Lakes and a cold front pushing in from the north and west. Uh, the bulk of the day will be dry. Let's go to the high-res NAM, and you can see this band of thunderstorms pushing in here tonight. Uh, this is 9 o'clock. Uh, those storms probably entering the far northern part of the state, maybe 6, 7 o'clock this evening. And uh, so we'll have a little band of showers and storms. This is the instability, and these numbers are not really that high, uh, generally under 1,000 joules per kilogram. And this is the SRH, the storm relative felicity, and those numbers are not especially high. So... Uh, you know, with that kind of instability, they could support some strong storms with gusty winds. Uh, the chance of a tornado is awfully low, not maybe zero, but very low. But the main issue would be some gusty winds, maybe some small hail. This is just after midnight tonight, 1 a.m. The uh, band of showers and storms a little south of Interstate 20. And then by tomorrow at 7 o'clock, they're pretty much out of here. So uh, I'd say the chance of stronger storms, maybe 6 to midnight tonight. And uh, the main threat will be from gusty winds, maybe some small hail. And again, the chance of a tornado, pretty low. This is during the day tomorrow, 4 o'clock, back to the GFS. And this is suggesting maybe a few showers over the southwestern part of the state. But really, for the northern half of Alabama, tomorrow looks dry. Uh, the sky becoming uh, mostly sunny with a high in the upper 70s. Should be a pretty nice day. I, I think any rain would be ending for the northern half of the state during the pre-dawn hours. Saturday, a nice day, mostly sunny. The high will be around 80. So the bottom line is tomorrow and Saturday looking very nice. And then Sunday, moisture comes back. And we'll bring back the chance of a few scattered showers, maybe a thunderstorm by afternoon. The high Sunday will be again around 80. And then next week looks a little more like summer. Uh, the air will be moist and unstable. This is Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, we'll have a chance of showers and storms each day. They will be somewhat scattered in nature. They will be most active during the peak of the daytime heating process during the afternoon and evening hours. And there's going to be a lot of instability next week, so they could be uh, you know, strong, maybe severe at some point, but trying to define that window at this point is pretty tough to do. So uh, a chance of showers and storms each day, Monday through Wednesday. Here's a week from today, Thursday the 6th, the deep trough forming over the east and Again, this is suggesting cooler air with a chance of uh, showers. Highs may be dropping in the low 70s. We'll go out 10 days. This is Saturday, May the 8th. The zone will flow, and that looks like a quiet day as that weekend begins. Rain for Birmingham off the European Ensemble. The mean about 3 inches between now and the 14th of May, but some of the members run up to 7 or 8 inches. We know that. Temperatures stay pretty warm. Highs most days in the 80s. Lows mostly in the 50s and 60s through the 9th of May. And the CPC outlook for May 6th 
through May 12th, showing temperatures around here above average. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3 o'clock this afternoon. If you can, catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. Hey, this is James Spann. I think one of the best parts of my job, getting to do weather programs in schools. During regular times, I'm in a school once or twice a day teaching students, mostly in elementary schools, things about weather and science. It's a really great part of my job. In fact, if I wasn't a television meteorologist, I would be a third grade science teacher. But one thing I've noticed over the years, some children, not all, but some, develop a genuine fear, a phobia of weather, especially thunderstorms and tornadoes. To offset that, I commissioned a couple of creative members of my family to write a series of children's books about weather. And the first one is out. Benny and Chipper, be prepared, not scared. Your kids will absolutely love Benny the Bear and his best pal, Chipper the Beagle Dog. It's a really good read about thunderstorms and tornadoes and how it's okay to be a little afraid, but you don't have to be really afraid. As long as you're prepared, you understand them, you know what to do, and you take care of yourself. Information is very powerful, and that starts a process of kids overcoming that fear. And this book is a really good read for any elementary school student. My friend Ginger Z of ABC News in New York, the chief meteorologist there, wrote a forward here. Jeremy Davis, an illustrator, really makes Benny and Chipper come to life. It's a great read, and your kids will love it. I would encourage you to get a copy, and we'll have future books with Benny and Chipper about things like thunderstorms and the science behind them, tornadoes and hurricanes. So get your copy today. Right now it's available online at SpanBook, with two N's, SpanBook.com. And you'll see some other cool stuff there as well. Benny and Chipper, prepared not scared. Get your kids a copy today.